What is up, loves? Welcome back to another Bottom Dollar Bounty DLC discussion video. My name is Darkseid. So, yeah, tomorrow morning, we're less than, let me see, it's 5 o'clock now, so we're about 12 hours away. Yeah, so if you haven't grinded, get grinding, man. Get your money up. You're going to need a few million at least to get your foot in the door on this one. I, I'd say, like I said, at least 5 million. So, moving on to this here, this, these are just a few things that I wanted to put in, like you know, mention a, a couple things that I think that they need to either change or add into this DLC. First one going to be, listen, the Acid Lab is technically a drug business. If you, you know, more or less, it's technically a drug business. It's not a motorcycle club business per se, but you can run it as a CEO or an MC president. But why, why do they not let us be able to run all the motorcycle club businesses 100% solo, just like the Acid Lab? Let us come in here, start up the sale, uh, penalize us, charge us like 50 grand or even, be, you know, I don't want to say 100 grand. That's a little steep, but $50,000 to rent the bike or something. And would you like to do a solo sale? Yes. And then you could go and they give you like a some type of solo sale. You know what I mean? Why can't they do this? It, it seems so simple. They could totally do it if they wanted to. I just think that they're just, you know, they don't want us making too much money too quick. That's the problem. So moving on to the next thing, I hope, man, I hope that there's going to be multiple locations. Uh, yeah, I, I really, this is going to suck if that's the only spot right across the street from the police station. I was by there yesterday and all I did was pull out my gun in front of the cops and, and fucking they were all over me. Yeah, I mean, it's going to suck. I guarantee if they do have multiple locations, you would be crazy. I could see that being the cheapest location, to be honest. You know what I mean? Because why would you want to deal with all the cops every time you're having a shootout or something? Especially if you're fighting with another uh, another player or something that's trying to take your bounties. You know what I mean? Like, look at the salvage yards. There's multiple salvage yards. The only business that we have, not even a business, we have one casino and we have one arena war workshop. And that's that's pretty much it. All the rest of them, they're multiple businesses. Why? You know, listen, if they did just one business, that would really, really suck. A lot of people are going to be doing these in an invite-only lobby. I guarantee you that. And on top of that, you're going to have to deal with people trying to steal your shit and, and trying to steal your bounties from you and bring them back. It's just going to be a, a, a big fucking a mess, dude. You know, look at this. Like, right over here, like I said earlier, I pulled out a gun right over here. This is the business that's going to be... This is the location. This is just going to be... A, I can see so many things going wrong with this. You know, from other players trying to steal your bounties to the cops constantly getting a wanted level. Like, it's going to suck, dude. You know, I really hope there are way more locations than just this one. Because it's going to be a fucking nightmare. I guarantee that. And also, I wanted to say, I hope the pay on these is pretty decent. Like, somewhat like Red Dead style. Maybe there's like lower, lower class bounties than middle ones like infamous bounties type deal and then legendary ones that actually have like a mission that you have to go into and start up that would be kind of cool if they do it the right way it could definitely be pretty good moving on to this next clip is the vehicle pricing hopefully they don't make these all five million dollars because this car yeah even though it's really nice it's not worth five million dollars like it would be if you could if you had a wanted level and you pull out this car and then you automatically lose your wanted level or something like which sounds kind of weird but it would kind of be cool, and you can go and kind of blend in with the police, and then you would lose your water level or something, but I have a feeling that they're all going to be anywhere from, like, three million to five million dollars each. Uh, just watch me tomorrow morning. I'm going to be live streaming it. We'll check out and see the price on these vehicles, and I guarantee some of them are going to have some, have some trade prices and shit, but, you know, maybe you have to complete so many bounties, and you'll get trade prices on some of the cars. Uh, but yeah, this Gauntlet Interceptor, it is a nice vehicle, but I think one of the reasons why they made it so much money was because it's, I think it's going to be featured in GTA 6. That That's probably why I think that they made it $5 million. So I'm guessing that the rest of them, hopefully, hopefully they're not going to be nearly as much as this. And you know, Vincent, where is he coming to play on this? These are probably how we're going to start the missions right there, through those computers, most likely. So, moving on to the last thing, they're going to be adding some things to the uh, creator mode. One of the things I would love to see, I'd love to see them do something with Kyle Perico. Whether we can make our own death matches here, put survivals down here, snipe matches, um, you know, not necessarily go inside the compound. But, you know, I mean, even if they did that, that would be kind of cool. That would be cool to make a death match inside of Kyle Perico, inside of El Brubio's compound. compound. That would be kind of fucking cool, actually. Um, you know, you have a couple teams or whatever going at it. 
you know, maybe put some different game modes in there. You could make your own or whatever. Because this whole island, you can't access it other than going through the cutscenes. Whether you're here, like, to come to visit the DJs, or you start the actual heist. So, yeah, hopefully, maybe they do something where we can make our own missions here. You know, like, just snipe matches and death matches. Maybe some uh, King of the Hill type things. Or even some survivals. But, you know, that's what I'd like to see. That's me personally, though. But, you know, I love survivals. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget, we're about 12 hours out. And uh, let's see how it goes tomorrow. I'm going to be live streaming as soon as the update kicks in. So I'm going to be seeing how much all the cars are and all that. Hopefully you guys come and check it out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night.